here are a few videos for those to refresh your memory, and then I'll get into the ins and outs of uh, of, of Ray Epps. I think we have a I think we have a montage, right? Ray Epps from January fifth and sixth in real time. People thinking that this man was an undercover agent, and, and then we'll give you some evidence afterwards, along with some speculation as to why I 100% believe he is. Let's start. In fact, tomorrow, I don't even like to say it because I'll be arrested. Well, let's not say they won't. We need to go, I'll say it. We need to go in to the Capitol. Let's go! So I'm going to put it out there. I'm probably going to go to jail for a Tomorrow, we need to go into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. What? There he is right there, whispering to someone. Okay. Now, to be clear, maybe he's not a Fed. Maybe he's just, maybe he just actually is one of the very select few people who was planning some kind of an insurrection. That would be a totally valid theory. Right. If you yeah. watch those initial clips, you would say, okay, seems like it's one or the other. Either this guy is somebody who is causing trouble, or he's someone who is trying to, uh, unfortunately, uh, guilt by association, everybody else, memory hole people, you know, gaslight people, uh, and have you believe that everyone else was being violent when it was really someone like him. It's one of those two conclusions. Either he's a Fed, or he's actually an asshole. Now, let me present to you why I think that he was an undercover agent, because we've seen what's happened. They've made examples to more moderate assholes like the QAnon shaman. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Okay. So, Revolver News, just to give you, again, some context, we have to go back in time to refresh your memory. They published a few pieces on this guy, Ray Epps. I think we can bring it up uh, uh, right now. Yeah. There you go. Keep in mind, he hasn't been indicted on anything, hmm. Ray Epps. So, compared to what we've seen and compared to what with the consequences we've seen, he has not been indicted on anything. And as a matter of fact, the FBI uh, has raised picture under the seeking information. <laughs> well, that's not odd. very was, hard. Yeah, his idea. Right. <laughs> you have video. What else? <laughs> or what other yeah. information? Now, in that picture, can we bring up that picture again? <laughs> He's him. the last person seen speaking with uh, a guy named Ryan Samsel. Okay. Right there. And that's one of the first men to breach the fence. Now, Epps is right there. So Samsel. Okay. Ryan was arrested in January and held without bond or formal charges until August 25th. Huh. It's almost like that's not speedy. Right. Or chargy. Oh. <laughs> then you have, he was, after that, Epps was taken off the FBI Capitol riot most wanted list. Mm. He's right there. The guy he's with was held until August, just to be clear. Ray Epps is right there. They know, they know where he is. I know some of you might be saying, okay, so now it seems that there's some foul play. But there are several conclusions here. Either there's foul play or maybe they just can't find him. Well, it's interesting that you might bring up that yeah. point. Uh, when he was asked by journalists who didn't have to do all that much legwork, they had a phone book about <laughs> January 6th, Ray Epps ran off. He was easy to find. This is a... Uh, yeah. your politics? I've been trying to get a hold of you. We, we met January 5th. <laughs> We're patriots. Hey, you We're look patriots. awful free. Do you, do you remember me from January 6th? I, I understand that, but I can't say anything. Are you still under investigation by the FBI? Are you a federal is, informant? Is there a reason why the FBI took you off the most wanted list? Are you a federal informant, Ray Epps? Nice Are ranch. you a federal informant? It's not even gated. <laughs> he has a six-person golf cart. That's Ray Epps, alleged federal informant, driving into his property. <laughs> That's completely... He's or if it's Steve fan. Bannon's wife, a four-person <laughs> golf cart. Yes. A one-person. <laughs> if you're lucky. So... It's Steve and his wife, Gulf. <laughs> Unbelievable. So let's think about that for a second. It's not, you, you don't live in a free country because you have laws. You've heard me talk about this many times. It's you live in an actually free country if the laws are applied equally. So let's say he's not a Fed. Let's say he's not. And I can't say definitively that he is. We're all speculating here because we've not been given any information, despite the fact that there's the most robust committee of all time that has been yes, created. Robust. I said robust. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm just highlighting. Oh, I thought you were point. correcting. Robust. I was like, did I just say bust? <laughs> I got bust I on the brain. Admonish him. It's a busty committee. But so no. another guy is held without bail. Other people from the riots are held without bail. This guy is right there. He's easily found. Nothing. 
and no answers have been provided. And he was taken off the most wanted list. So now I would say, I would argue this. There are only two uh, possible conclusions mm -hmm. after the information that we presented. Either he was a Fed who was there as a plant beforehand, or afterwards he worked with them, which maybe granted him some kind of immunity. True. Doesn't seem very likely, though, the latter, considering that I don't believe many people at all, aside from I think there was one person uh, with the Proud Boys, I think, uh, not many people have been granted immunity at all if they happen to work with conservative groups. They want scalps. Yeah. That's what they want. Right. That's all they have are scalps. They don't have evidence of real violent crimes, so they're looking for scalps. So if this guy afterwards said, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll work with you for immunity, based on the history of the Democratic Party, I can't imagine they would take it. Yeah. Somebody in the control room, I believe that uh, one, it, may, it was either Jim Jordan or somebody else was questioning somebody on a committee about Ray Epps uh, and they Massey. kept shutting him down. Is it Massey that Red did it? Massey was uh, Yeah, questioning see if we can find some Garland. video of that because they're I questioning gotta, about who Ray, who's this Ray Epps? Yeah. Like that's, I, that's insane. I, I, it's hard to pull out any information on uh, Tim said he has it. You have it? Yeah, okay. it's uh, Rep Massey uh, questioning Merrick Garland. Oh, yeah. I'm you just, said this is one of the most sorry. sweeping oh, so investigations in the history. Uh, have you seen that video or th those frames Why from that your video? Why is your hair a sea urchin? So <laughs> as I um, uh, said at the outset, uh, one of the norms of the Justice Department is to not comment on oh. impending investigations really? and particularly not to comment about uh, particular scenes or particular individuals. This Why are you without, here? I, I was hoping today to give you an opportunity to put to rest the concerns that people have that there were federal agents or assets of the federal government present on January 5th and January 6th. Can you tell us, without talking about particular incidents or particular videos, how many agents or assets of the federal government were present on January 6th, whether they agitated to go into the Capitol, and if any of them did? So I'm not going to violate this norm of, uh, of, oh, of uh, the rule of law. I'm not going to comment on an investigation oh, that's ongoing. Yeah, it's by the way, it's such a private investigation that it was ongoing in prime time and yeah. they were going to do it again today, but they wanted to make sure there were so many people who were watching that they decided to bump it because of the hurricane. You were about to say something, sir, before we went. Well, to also that was wasn't that the investigation? Kind of. I mean, sort of. Yeah. Um <laughs> how many people that were arrested, though, I would like to know, are have are, are giant landowners, have farms like the this uh Mike Epps brother Huh? It seems like he's very well off. Seems, that, yes. Seems pretty well if off. If that was his property, yeah. how many people went down to the Capitol that had that kind of money, property, or potentially that, were risking to lose that to go there and convince people that they should storm a Capitol? Right. Good Doesn't point. that seem suspicious? It does seem suspicious. Bit. Just a little bit. You I don't know. The fact I that he realize... has his own Neverland ranch? Yeah, that's kind of my Without problem. the monkey. He doesn't have sparkles. No. <laughs> but he's, I bet you he has a system of bells. Yes, he does. <laughs> Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.